everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Building with Saucers. This is Mythical Saucers here. Hi, what's up, everybody? We're back again doing some more starter builds. Today's gonna be so cool. Everyone's been asking me, Saucers, you know that those builds look pirate cove you're doing on Valley Craft. Do you mind go ahead and doing maybe just a little tutorial of exactly how you're doing those? Because those are super sexy, and I want to know how to do them. So, you know what? Today is dedicated to that. We're gonna be doing that pirate cove pirate theme build right now. And again, like we always mention, if you guys want to check out any other previous builds we've done around this area the starter builds are amazing now, all the way down that row you can catch a little description in the playlist go get it look at everything then come back here or watch this one then go back and look for all the other ones which are amazing and we also in the last episode we did a little uh, world download so you guys can check out and actually for yourself jump on in here the only thing you won't have is this pirate building but eventually once we do a, a couple more upgrades i'll keep updating that world download how about that all right cool now let's do it baby this is it <laughs> look how cool all right so let's flip uh, so I, I I did it pretty similar to what we do on the on the pirate cove uh, but uh, I made it just one primary wood for the log and one primary wood for like the sides and the windows and stuff. Uh, the way I do it on the Pirate Cove on uh, on Valley Crab, I go crazy. I go completely crazy. But I want to make this starter worthy so it's not so complicated. You can definitely mix and match blocks like I do uh, on the other worlds. But for now, I gave you a base model to go by. And this is it right here, baby. So let's go. Let's actually start this up. It's not too hard. I'll show you exactly how I did it right here. This is the layout we got right there so look at that check it out pause the screen get it ready okay you good all right let's go <laughs> all right now the main primary log we're using is jungle all right we're also using jungle wood planks jungle stairs jungle slabs gonna throw in some spruce stairs some spruce slabs some spruce fence trap doors and a button and a couple other little bits and stuff are over there uh, but let's go okay so first off we're gonna go ahead and do this section right here this is your base for your little uh, for your little pirate house so we're gonna go up here we're gonna go by one two three four five all right one two three four five and then we're gonna go ahead and cross beam that boy right there like so super super simple let me make sure okay I just built it. okay <laughs> I think we're good hold on let me make sure uh yeah yeah, we're lined up. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's keep going up. I literally just built it. All right, let's go. And I did interior. We'll show you when we get to the side. So let's go up by five here. Do a little box. Cross beam action. Do another five up and another box. So it's super simple. Just like that to start out the show. Now, details. Let's start already with details. Underneath here, we're going to go upside down stairs. No, of your spruce. Spruce upside down on every corner piece of this log. Like so. And that one too. <laughs> okay, so we got that little box going. Super easy, super simple. Now, to get to the top of this area, we're gonna put a door right here. But before we put the door, let's do this. Right here in the center, go up by one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this again here on this corner. So one, two, three, four. Up here, one, two, three, four. Over here, one, two, three, four. And over here, one, two, three, four. Now, this is gonna be your front door. So let's put right now, upside down stair right there. Perfection. Now, watch this. We're gonna do cross beam action here. Here. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> here. And another cross beam right here. So look at the shell. This is the shell of the house we got going right now. Super simple, super easy. Look at that. Okay, now let's work on more details. Another little upside down stair you wanna throw in is right here with your spruce. And one right here, so that's gonna be a little window. Cool. Now we're gonna do it again. Right in the center though this time. Boom. And then boom. And then right next to it, we're gonna drop the jungle and jungle. Right there. Perfect. Now let's do it again on this side. But we're not putting a window here. This is gonna be a cool little balcony. So we're gonna go boop, drop that, and then leave that open right there. One more time on this side. We're gonna go ahead and I fail. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> do it again. Up with your jungle, up and down with your spruce stair. Boom! So we got this cool little simple building right there. And we're done with the... No, I'm playing. Let's go. Let's keep doing more stuff. Now, we want to way up here. All right? Now, to get a way up here, this is what we're going to do. See this cool little contraption of sexiness we did here? The little stairwell? Watch it. This is how I'm going to do it. So and then we're going to modify it as we go up. But let's do it. So, one, jungle right here. We're going to go up two. Break that one, okay? Going to go up to here. Break these two gonna go up to there break all these so you see you make it like a little stair pad and going up but except here we're gonna keep it up and leave it like so right here go up meet right about there and another one will go up here and meet right about there 
hold it off right there for a second. Now we're gonna work on work on some sexy magic. Okay, watch this. Now right here, let's go up by one. Here we're gonna do. Let's see. Hold on. Do a little baby cross beam for now, just so you can place hold of those. Get rid of that. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Now <laughs> let's go up one right here. All right. And now another little bit we wanna do is do the same thing here. Just a little placeholder. Drop, drop and then get rid of those so it keeps that same look to it like that that's what i'm going for that's what i'm keeping now underneath these we're going to do upside down upside down upside down upside down on this one we're going to do another cross let's do a little placeholder drop it go underneath here and then do an upside down stair right there perfect showing it now on this side grab your spruce slabs and go boop 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 and then run a little l here Plop that, plop that. Then we're gonna drop right on this side. Actually, let's do something a little different. Let's take those out. Go sideways, sideways. Because here, I'm gonna do something a little different. Drop your fence like that. Super sexy. Okay, it looks see, it looks super cute. Okay, now another thing we want to do underneath these guys, drop your slabs going all the way around like so. So it gives it that cool little effect. And then we got that right now going for us. Look how sexy that's looking. All right. Cool. Now, next up, we're going to do some stairs to get to the top. Another little thing before we do the stair. Let, actually, let's do the stair first. Stair, stair right here, right against that log. Every log, you're going to put a stair. Except for here, we're going to do half slab. Let's drop half slab right there. And then come on the inside, and then right here again. Oops, I'm sorry. Right here. And then here, we're going to do this. Watch this. Right on this thing, on this sex thing. Actually, hold on. Let me see something. Let me see something. Did it go up to the top? Hold on. Hold on. Get rid of these. I apologize. <laughs> Get rid of these because now what we're going to do is go up by one more like that. It's going to keep that look. All right. And now right here, one more. Go up again, up again. And then here, we're going to do that little piece. Then put your fence post because you'll see why. And then go ahead, bring these back bring these back we're gonna raise it up by one because right now we're level see before we weren't level now we're level to get to here oops no right here and then we're gonna drop a line of your slab to get to here let's actually drop it like so perfect so boom boom and then we come on inside like that look how nice so we got that little stair going so again right here let's take this out again so right here slab here we're gonna do slab slab but it was up by one and then we got a little stair to get inside perfect Shoney. now on the inside just for now go ahead run a line of your what, what is it yes a spruce <laughs> and then we got that going and then we're going on this side so look how cool so that's a little stair pattern we got going up to the top and we'll put a door in a second but now another little bit you're gonna do right on this side because this is too plain it's covered it needs to be covered up drop these two same thing boom boom and we're gonna drop that so we got the stair connected to that corner right there look how cool all right so we got this going for us now we're gonna do a little more detail let's keep going uh, on the outside portion right here we're gonna do right on this edge we're gonna drop one two one two cross beam that we're gonna go up by one up by one get your fence post go up here here and then here 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 oops it's not there <laughs> and then right on the inside put your uh, flooring of your spruce underneath it guy You're gonna do upside down stair upside down stair just to keep it there sexy So you know it, it's, it's it's connecting and it's not gonna fall look at that look how pretty let me see let me make sure Okay, yeah, look, look at this uh, another thing. This is what we want to do Let's go up by one here just to give it a little bit more definition uh, These this is where the the roofs are gonna get a little bit complicated, but it's not gonna be that bad You'll see so right here fence going up here fence going up. So we got that now, we'll do that last, but for now, let's do this. Pop out logs on all of these, except for this one. What, well, maybe just that one. Leave this one open. Pop out log, pop out log, pop out log, and then underneath all these, spruce stair going down. Like so, oh, except for that one. This one like that, nothing here. Stair, 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 and that's it, cool. Now, let's do this. So on these corners, we're gonna go ahead and drop your uh, your stair on the side like this. This one, no, leave that one alone. Another stair on the side, another stair on the side. A little, little trap door in the center, just like so. Give it a little more definition on that side. Here, leave that open, okay? You'll see why. 
Now, we're gonna work on this roof. Look at this, this is gonna be, it's not too bad. I'll show you how I did that. So, to work on the roof here, on this tippy tippy, right here, drop a fence, okay? On this one, we're gonna go up by one on this log, on this one, up by one on this log, on this log, go up by one, two, all right? But on top of this, we're gonna drop a fence, a fence, and a fence. Okay, now, the way I work this roof, now watch me. This is how I'm gonna do it at the beginning, but we're gonna modify it, but watch this. We're just gonna use, for now, just use the jungle slab for now. We're gonna modify stuff, and we're gonna take stuff away and put some things together, but this is how we do it. So, right here, put your jungle here. Now, we're gonna go down, then drop, draw more, so it looks like a full block. Drop this here, okay, then go, Wait, hold oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> and then go run a line like so. Let's make sure. Let's double, triple check. Did we go up by one more? I think I went up by one, two, three. Sorry. Okay. Hold on. Time out. Just to give it a little bit more of a lift and a, a nice curve going down, go up by three on that one. So let's just break these for a second. So let's start up from the top again. So, so one, two, three, one, one, and then one single uh, fence on that. So let's go down. Let's, this is how I do it. So one here, drop two. Oh no, oh no, sorry, two, <laughs> then here, drop another one, here, drop another one, here, do that. So we got this nice little stair pattern going down like that. If anything, pause the screen right there, this is how you do it. Now we're going to repeat this pattern on this side, alright, let's go. So double, we're going to go down, down, oops, and meet like so. So we got that, this is completely mirrored to the other side for now, okay, just like that. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. Let's go down, one on this side. Over here, we're gonna go down like this. And again, we're gonna go down like so and do this kind of pattern. And now watch this, you're gonna go down again, go all the way around, go down over here, go all, oops, sorry, go all the way around, and then we're gonna meet up right there. Okay, so technically if you want, you could leave it just like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and start modifying so it can look cute like this one, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play around with some stuff. So now, let's grab some spruce. Let's start replacing some stuff. Let's replace that, maybe. Let's replace these two. Let's go replace that guy. There, replace this. Let's do another replace job here. Let's actually extend that. Okay, we're gonna start moving and, and stretching stuff out. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that piece. Let's do, let's get rid of this. Drop this guy here. Let's do another replace job like that get rid of you let's do that okay that's looking good now let's do here let's break this off let's do another like that okay we're breaking stuff let's extend that see we're doing little bits of detail just little bits taking stuff out putting stuff away let's get rid of that guy let's replace him with you no hold on i just don't like that okay there we go Okay, so we got that going. See, it's a little different, but it's still very, very, very similar. Another thing, let's get rid of that guy. Let's drop this guy inside here, maybe. And let's maybe drop that like so. Okay, now, adding a little more details. Trap doors, wherever they would let me place them. <laughs> so trap door there, maybe one here. Maybe one right in there like that. Maybe some on the inside too. That's a good spot. Uh, that's a good spot. And on the inside, maybe one right about, let's do a double right there like that. And maybe one right there. Let's go on this side. And one about, let's do two there. Cool, so that's it. That's what you what I do with the roof. So it starts out simple, and then you start molding it until it looks cute. Now, another little bit of detail right here. Drop fences here, and drop fences here on the high side. On the low sides, you can leave them like that. That's perfect, okay? now. A little bit. We're almost done. We're completely. We're really almost there. On the inside, this is where all we're gonna do. Come inside. Uh, right here is where I'm gonna place our floor for the third floor. Close it all off, and then right here I'm gonna put a little lat. No, let's put a ladder right there, so we can get up to the top right here. Ladder right on the top, going up to the last floor, and then you could use this how you want. The way we use the uh, windows. You could do anything. The way I want to have them, I have mine as trap doors, so you can seal them, close them up like that. Put a door on this side. Drop this. That's another window. And then over here, this is another window. Whatever. Okay. Now, on this side, this is what I did for this corner. So, I played around with this too. We went ahead and did this guy. So, 
same thing we did last time. I go up that up from here, then down. Let's go up from here and then down, like so. Another, let's say, right here. Going down. Actually, take that away. You can take that out now. Do something like so. So this would be your secondary roof for this outside part. Let's do boop, boop, boop. Something like that. Maybe like so. Drop it out like that. That That's pretty much it. We can even play around with the shapes. We can even right now drop the little bit of trapdoor action. Wherever they fit. Something like that. Maybe here. And then you can even do under underneath this area. Right here. Just to give a little more detail. Like so. Something like that. There you go. Other bits of detail. We can add buttons on all your exposed little log pieces. Like so. And then here's a more exposed loggies oops sorry I'm messing up boom 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 look at that that's pretty much it right there take a little spin check it out I'll show you a little more detail finished product on the other side but other little bits of detail you could do besides this simple stuff right here. this is pretty cool but you can add more details like I did on this side so this is what I did, especially on my Pirate Cove I'm doing on, on Valleycraft, adding a lot of lot of details. So uh, random <laughs> bits of tri tripwire hooks, signs, buttons, uh, drop it all the way around like so. This one is not as crazy detail as I do on the other side, but you know what? You, you can go crazy if you want. Uh, other little bits of detail too. I added little uh, flower baskets here, but don't put them on the center because this building is not really that symmetrical. You want a little different, so I threw flower pots here just on a random angle. I did one over here on this side too. Very cool, very nice. But let's go inside. This is and look at that little custom path right here. A little water side. I like having these by the water, which is really cool. You can use these as fishing huts too. But it's almost like pirate covish type houses and stuff. So pretty cool. Let's go upstairs. This is what we did interior wise. You know what? I love my little enclosed spaces, so I put as much as I could inside. Uh, so we got a bed, we got a little crafted bench, uh, a chest, a furnace, <laughs> a little pot of plant area over here. Little balcony side. This is how you do it. This I use it as a fishing, almost like a, there's no water here, but it's fine. Pretend there's water here. Uh, but you can do fishing outside here if you want. Uh, on the top here, add another little bedroom. Uh, so it's for two people, one down, one up. And then we have this little bedroom action right here on this side. But it's very cool, very nice. And I love it so much. <laughs> so yeah, what do you guys think? Let's take one more little spin. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. It's pretty cool. Oh, another little thing I forgot to show you. Uh, easy access to get out in case somebody's chasing you. Come this way, boom, get out, you run. <laughs> we got a little skate pad hatch right there, which is super cool. Oh, but that's it though. What do you guys think? This came out pretty cool. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little, uh, this little pirate cove-like house, a little pirate uh, fishing hut. Whatever, I mean, it could be so many things. But this is my from my Valleycraft series. Again, I'm gonna put a link in the description too if you guys want to check out the Valleycraft uh, series. We're using Conquest on that. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little episode. Let me know if you got any other ideas of other builds you want me to try out, and I'll try it all in the next episode. I got a couple other ones lined up from from other people that I promised, so those are coming up. But we're getting we're getting there. We're gonna be filling up this whole area, baby. World download coming up very soon. Again, once we fill up this whole section maybe the next five or six we'll do another world download but all right i'm out of here for now guys hopefully you enjoyed and i'll catch you on the next episode of building with sauces goodbye my pirate friends